Um, <clears throat> you know, right now, um, just pleased with uh, pleased with them as a, as a group. We're still not where you know where we need to be. Uh, the young guys, uh, Jalen Julius and you know Jalen Jones, when when Ken Darius, uh Webster went down, those guys sort of got thrown into it, and um, they're they're handling it well. Uh, still making you know still make mistakes from time to time, but they're uh, they're coachable. Uh, you know, come, they're coming in, asking questions, and uh, working hard every day at practice, trying to get better. And so pleased with those two. Um, even Caleb Moore, he's uh, he's doing a good job for us. He's uh, He's uh, working his tail off, and uh, he understands uh, what we're doing. And uh, you know, just uh, and getting Derrick Jones back last week, getting him in, the, getting him in the mix, and he's uh, you know he's uh, he's come along. And was so, Derrick comfortable? Did he, did he tell he had played it before? What was that transition like? It was uh, it was a lot smoother than what I thought. You know, uh, he was played played corner for us his freshman year, and then I was surprised at how much he how much he knew. When we started practicing and he started started repping it, he remembered the things uh, that we were doing and, and didn't make a lot of mistakes on Saturday. You know, he uh, flew around, went to the ball, and so uh, still just got to keep bringing him along. Does he know the whole package, or are you still having to kind of implement things with him? He um, he knows it. He knows it for the most part. He um, you know he's one of those guys where he loves football, so he's every chance he gets, he's in there watching tape and. I make notes from practice, and he's looking at my notes and things like that. So he has a he has a pretty good understanding of uh, of what we're doing. There was a time when people thought he had a really bright future on on the defensive side of the ball, but maybe he wanted to play offense. Do you, do you think he's embraced being on on defense right now? You know, one thing about one thing about uh, uh, Derek, he's a I'll say he's a really uh, unselfish uh, player. I mean, he you know just like when when Kendarius went down. He uh, texts me and call Coach Free. He said, Coach, if y'all need me to play defense, I'll do it. I'll do whatever I, whatever I need to do for the team. And so that's the type of uh, type of kid he is. And, you know, as a freshman, he played corner. And then we needed him on the offensive side of the ball. So that's why he moved back to the offensive side of the ball. And now we need him back on the defensive side. And and he hopped in with both feet and working his tail off. I know it's an idea to play those three ranked teams with such a young secondary to start. But how much does, it, does that help their confidence? Down the road. You know, it, uh, and the, the challenge that we, uh, the one thing we strive to do, our goal is to get better each week. You know, we may make mistakes on Saturday, but that next week we're not going to make those same mistakes, and we want to get better um, each week. And uh, and that's what we're trying to do. And I'm pleased at the at the effort that they're giving. And uh, you know, and it's nothing like experience. You know, we can, uh, you can sit in the meeting room and talk X and O's and watch tape, but uh, physically getting out there on the field and and doing it, that's what's going to make you better and, and make you grow up.